Good morning folks, how are we doing? Well, the day has come, going tubeless. We said we were going to do it a long time ago, just never got round to it. We've had the kit for a while now and uh, just never got round to it. All the tools are out ready. Obviously the torque wrench, <clears throat> we won't need that until reassembly. Obviously for talking things back up again. But yeah, so now we're going to wash the wheels off, get the tyres off, give them a good clean up and install the kit. Now the kit we're using is the Altex kit from Japan. It's, it's probably the kit that works more times than it doesn't. You get a couple of valves, obviously tubeless valves. You get the double-sided outer tape. You can use 3M marine tape, same thing. Protective tape for inside and little stickers that you put over the nipples inside the rim. You'll see it all as I'm doing it. What I'm doing just in case. Obviously, caliper bolts, 14 millis. Crack them off, get the caliper off. Always be careful on this side of more spikes. You have a speed sensor or an ABS cable. Be careful you don't snag that because it's easy to pull on it and rip the sensor off from underneath or wherever it's located. But yeah, let's waz these off both sides first and get the calipers off. Right, so that's both calipers off now. Little cap there. Pull that out. And that's a 22 mil bolt. So we crack that off first and then start going about the pinch bolts. So the wheel nut's off now. We'll crack these pinch bolts, which are 12 miller. And then we'll get the front wheel off the floor and get to work on the other side. Going a bit too easy, this. What could possibly go wrong? Right, so we'll get the lovely assistant to help me with this. Glamorous assistant. There's the workstation, also known as the kitchen table and axle stands. Very professional. Oh, yeah. It's shit not having a garage. It's rubbish, sorry, folks. It's rubbish not having a garage. But anyway, so the bike is now what we'd call elevated. The washers go. So that's the wheel off. Let's go and get the back one off. Now, because the calipers are going to be hanging for a bit, I'm going to bang them back on there and just put a couple of threads on the screws, just for secure them, because the bike's going to be studying now for at least a day, a day or two with no wheels on. So let's get them on. Here's the back wheel. I'm going to have to give it a good clean up. Get this off and give it a good clean up. It's surprisingly rotten inside. Job out. But yeah, both wheels are off. Tires off, tubes out. Cush drive, rear sprocket. Let's get this front one done. Yeah. Anyway, folks, this is the crack. I'm not going to show you me cleaning a wheel because that'd just be stupid. But basically, that's off it. The tyres are outside somewhere. There's the rims on stand so we can spin it round and get to it. As you can see, it's proper manky inside. That has got to be absolutely spotless. So, a bit of the old clutch and brake cleaner, which drives virtually instantly. So, we're going to really get that spotless. And then, We'll show you that, but each one of them goes on each spoke. And the green tape goes all the way around. And then the tape in the middle goes round there. And we have, as I showed you, two valves go in there. And all being well, it will inflate without a tube. That sounds so simple. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'll get this wheel clean and I'll check back in with you. One of the parts I have been told is the join, obviously, where the wheels bonded together. This one's not too bad. Across there, it's pretty, pretty smooth. But there, there's a tiny lip. I'm going to put a bit of sandpaper on that just for smooth it off. Uh, drive the not take any chances and get it absolutely spotless. The rest of it's not too bad. It's smooth as silk. So just any imperfections, bit of sandpaper, brake cleaner, jobs are good. Let's get on with it. Well, yeah, I'm not going to film too much on this. I'll just go through the basics because basically it is just sticking tape on the wheel. Honestly, it is it is that simple. It's no, because people have asked, oh, can you film and show us what you do? It's basically just sticking tape on the wheel. But first thing is, though, get me a dryer for the wheel. Warm it up a bit. Warm the wheel up first, obviously, like anything. And if the adhesive, it's going to stick better. You'll get rid of all moisture. Any stickers will stick better. You get them little things. 
they go over each spot folded over it just like it's like a bit of a triple protection and that goes round it and then that one i don't know whether you can see on there there's a tiny hole there the valve goes through there and then you stick it on over the top and everything being right we're then tubeless see how it goes eh but I'll, I will time lapse this just for keep you in the loop. So let's get on with it. Fair's just inspecting the job. Have you put them on right? Yeah, they're on perfect. Let me just have a look. Hang on a minute. Unbelievable. I used to do quality control. Did you? Yeah, at the fish factory actually. That's how you got work. There's the valve going through and then there's a protective layer goes over all that so it's it might look really bubbly there but it's not it's just the way the protective layer goes over the top but technically now that's the only bad part i've done or well, you know when you do one bad part the it's the only bad part i've done but it's sealed all the way around so i'm i don't really want to mess with it but that's the only i've all the way around it's all gone smooth all the way around except that part there i don't know what happened but Anyway, let's throw the tyre on and blow it up, see what happens. But for all you adventure riders out there that stop at middle of nowhere and change tyres and do all that, the uh, full credits, full credits here. I know you could probably, the more you do it, the quicker you'll get. But imagine doing that at middle at night. It's dark, it's raining, and you've got to take your wheel off and take a tube out and put, oh my God. But anyway, We'll see how we get on with it, but at the moment we're tubeless, it's inflated, there's no leaks. Let's see how we get on, let's get them back on the bike here. Eh? And this turned up as well the other day, folks, a bit of a fender extender. Now, they do come in handy on these, because as, as we're having a big 21 inch front wheel, the wheel's still there, it's just spraying shite all over here. The extender brings it to there makes a world of difference and they're only pennies so why not we're going to waz that on now help keep the bike clean well folks fender extended on you can use your sticky pads for holding on and i've put like a row of sticky pads around there on the inside but i've also drilled i know a lot of people don't want to drill into a newish bike but it's it's a nice neat finish four little drills pop screws in it's all right, isn't it? Jobs are good. One. And now you see there, it stops any shite going up onto the frame at exhaust. Jobs are good. One. All we need to do now is for fair to tidy my mess up. Unbelievable. Tidy this up. What I will do, as I said on the one at first, but post the front tyre, the front tube. Well, you can see on that, it's full of slime. So whether they've had a puncture, I'm going to squirt in my face. Whether they've had a puncture, or whether they put them for prevent one, I don't know. But it weighs an actual ton. That's just the front one. And don't forget, this is ro don't Big forget go, this it? is rotational weight as well. Just under two pounds. That's just under two pound in that one. Let's see if this will go on top. I don't think the air weighs anything. Oh. And just over two pound in there. So See we're talking four talking four pounds. So fingers crossed. Jobs are good. One. He says. Well we've not rolled it yet, like well. For the price it costs, like I said, the, the kits were half price on eBay. It was worth trying. Even if it doesn't work proper, it was worth trying. Just in case, like I said, when we're away, punch your outfit there. It takes two minutes to put a plug in. And inflator. Two minutes. As I said before. You adventure bike riders, my heart goes off to you. You do that in the middle of nowhere, take it wheel off and it's, my heart goes out. See, honestly, yeah, well done. Well done, because I've, I've done it myself with tyre levers and that took both tyres off, put them both back on, and it's a pain in the ass. I've got to say somewhere else then, because I have swore a bit today. The air has been blue. 
it's been proper blue. I'm not, I wasn't happy this morning. <laughs> no, it was alright. Just a, it was, you know what? The back tyre went back on pretty well. The front one was just, I don't know, it was just a pain in the ass. Get the front tyre back on for no reason. Now, as you know, we do a lot of mountain biking. I'm always changing tyres, but I don't know, it's just one of those things. But I suppose if it did it again, it'd be a bit quicker, but I'm not sure it'd be that much bloody quicker. Back in the thing, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, because obviously we had the axle stands up there, so we had the wheel spindle through the wheel and the wheel balanced on the axle stands. Just so it was nice and warm in here, everything was pliable. Well, all sorted. So get the wheels back up, bike, and make sure they stay up. Do you want to say bye bye, Faye? Bye. Faye. Yeah. Us fellas are nothing if we don't do this. Once we've fitted something, come on lads, we've all done it, we've all done it. Look at that, put it on. It's going nowhere that, it's going nowhere. Is that what you're saying, it's going nowhere? That's what fellas say. When you bolt, when you screw something up or tighten something really, really tight, you say, it's going nowhere that, look at it. I'll remember that when things fall off. I know, yeah, I know you will, I know you will. you say it's going nowhere? <laughs> no. Asked about the tyres as well. As you know, we've done the Altex tubeless conversion. Been done two weeks now. It's not lost a pound of pressure. Been great. Did the front as well. And um, we spot on. Made up with it. Mm -hmm.